I started watching Black Clover. I, I'm not even familiar with, is that a, it sounds like perhaps a television show, maybe a movie, maybe a mini series, maybe a docudrama. Oh, it's an anime specifically, an anime television show. Oh, cool. Slowly ramping in popularity for the past three years. Okay, gotcha. Lady Boss versus Valera. Your time ends now. Your time ends now. Gosh, do I keep Instructor Fireheart? I don't think so. I think I want to find earlier stuff. I think having a wand maker is good because I can one into two. But I want to. I mean, Boom Pistol Bully is definitely intriguing, but I. This game might go much faster. <laughs> this might be a much faster uh, game than that Priest one was. Building a steady cult following into the mainstream. Very good show. Like the new Naruto. Okay, okay. The the next Naruto, which I I still find it kind of surprising that. The next Naruto is not the next Naruto. There, There is a next Naruto, right? Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me just be totally upfront and clear with everybody. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, that caveat in place. There is another Naruto, right? His cousin or nephew or son or grandson or something. I think, I want to say his name also ends in Aruto. The Black Clover, okay, new Naruto. So Black Clover, does that, Bar yeah, Bar Boruto. Boruto. What are we playing against? What is this ladder this morning? Hey, I appreciate a quest rogue. Let's do some let's do some quest rogue. Why not? I'm doing quest shaman. It's not like I have any room to say anything. You don't pick the wise. Did she get two quest triggers off that? She sure did. Because the multi-class cards don't count. They have to be mage cards off of Wand Thief. If they're a combo mage rogue cards, they don't count. Like Brain Freeze doesn't count. Potion of Illusion doesn't count. It's gotta be like Frost Bolt, Deck of Lunacy. Like it's a wow. Stunning. It is. I'm not even, she sounds facetious, but that is stunning. The wand picks you. You a little something I whipped up. That's our girl. There's our girl, Sugar Free. The tox, uh, the, the toxin blade. Full paratoxin blade. You a little something I whipped up. Just pouring poison on there. Which is funny, you know, you don't... It seems like with swords, you don't usually need to poison it. It just kind of works, right? It's a, it's a sword. Uh, but yeah, I got, you know, just, just in case. Just being careful. Making sure that the sword's gonna definitely work. Ancient blades. She completed that quest so fast. That might be the fastest quest completion I have ever seen on that quest. I think I'm going to coin out Cobalt Spellkin on the assumption I'll be Barista Lynchening next turn. A simple spell. I, don't, I don't think I need to hero power Barista Lynchin. I don't know what this rogue is trying to do. I don't know what the how you win as a quest rogue. I mean, obviously this hero power is incredible. Two mana, three, two weapon that makes you invincible when you attack. That's incredible. But it doesn't win the game, right? It doesn't, doesn't actually, it's like a means to an end. What is that end? I'm not sure. So is it safe to assume the Black Clover plays, uh, you know, broadcast 30 episodes, minutes? Broadcast, uh, so... Back when I was doing a lot of television, television, like Broadcast 30 was about 22 minutes, 40 seconds, something like that. Depending on commercial breaks, if it was public TV, it'd be more like 26. Because if, if you watched 120 episodes of a broadcast hour, that would be a feat. And also I would worry for your retinas. 20 minutes if you don't count the intro and outro and recap. Okay, gotcha, yeah. Just a pressure, oh yeah, the pressure from the, th I mean three damage a turn for the rest of the game is a lot. It's definitely, it's definitely not that much. What did I just say I was gonna do, Barista Lynchin? I think I just want a 4-5 on the board. Unfortunately, you know, leaving this up is, is not great, but... The only way I could really clear it was to, like, spend my... Actually, I don't think there was a way I could clear it. Not comfortably. Oh, balls. Okay, okay. Okay, sure, absolutely. 
Am I gonna freaking earth? Am I gonna earth shock this? Is that what I'm gonna do? My hero power is not complete yet either. No, I'm gonna value trade, evolve. That'll complete my quest, and then I have hero power online to do other stuff. <sighs> You're gonna eviscerate my barista? That was lame. Stunning. Okay, I can deal four damage with the circus medic. Gosh, that just uses up all of my mana this turn. I can fire heart. I can try to I can try to like go Such off with fire heart, though it won't really be going off with fire heart. Oh, and I'll still have not enough space in my hand. So I'll have to like earth shock. Fireheart, which only leaves me two mana to go off with Fireheart. It's pretty weak. can do some other stuff. Like, I can Evil Cable Rat. That'll complete my quest. Then I can Hero Power Witchy Lackey. Which is not the most compelling, but maybe I get to do something. Maybe, like, something cool will happen. And I have two Witchy Lackeys. So I can Hero Power Witchy Lackey. Do not rush me right now, me. To dream of murder. Hey, Shifty, good morning. Good morning, great to see you, welcome. Oh, Shifty, oh, Shifty. There was a win that was specifically for you this morning. Game number two, we were playing this deck, as you'll notice, it's ridiculous. Where is it, over there? This deck is, of course, ridiculous. Highlander Quest Shaman. And we played against a Quest Priest, and we just drowned her out of the game, and then eventually blew her up over the top. It was the most, one of the most satisfying wins that I think I've gotten to experience. Oh, I don't have enough mana to do all the stuff I want to do. So I'd like to Earthshock, Hero Power, Sandstorm Elemental, and Circus Medic. But I can't do that, right? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That requires nine mana. All right. Well, I guess the, I guess the Savannah High Man is just going to continue to be a, a thorn in my side for the time being. Do I ever just Boom Pistol Bully? I think I gotta stop taking this this damage. I'm gonna blow up the board. I'm gonna earth shock. I'm gonna blow up the board. I don't have to be super cagey with my resources because I have so much. Reese. Oh, I can even. I. You know what? I can even forked lightning. It'll even let me do that, and, I, and then I can discover something to do next turn. None of you say battle cry. I'll take the cheap plus one spell damage. Uh, hey, Techno Dude, good morning. Good morning, great to see you. Joining this program already in progress. What's the recap? Well, it's been a silly morning, Techno Dude. I can say that with confidence. Uh, also, my back is broken. Okay, that sounds extremely dramatic. My back doesn't like holding me up anymore. I did something on Sunday. So uh, when I say gingerly getting back on the ladder, I mean physically. I'm physically ginger. Oh, this is nonsense. <clears throat> I just realized that's a Blood Herald. <laughs> you poor bastard. Okay, well, this definitely has six hit points. And this definitely only has one hit point. <laughs> hey, hey, Ben, good morning. Good morning, great to see you. Let me figure out what this turn is here real quick. Boy, I am overloaded. I am badly overloaded. What happens if I hero power Zephyrus right now? I think I can just regular Boom Pistol Bully. What, how much damage am I taking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. I think I can just Boom Pistol Bully and pass. Nobody move, and no one gets hurt. Nobody move, and no one gets hurt. Next turn, we get to Hero Power Instructor Fireheart and go off. Lots of strobing lights. Don't watch if you have epilepsy. Because epilepsy. there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so the, the previous game, to finish the recap, uh, the previous game was me playing this list, right? This is Highlander Quest Shaman, because you know I can't stop with my Quest Shaman, against a Quest Priest, and we... Spoilers, we beat her in just the grindiest, just like completely just and then and then burned her out over the top. She thought she was gonna stabilize. It had been a long game. Burned her out over the top and won. Uh, right as she was about to turn that corner. It took like 20 minutes. It was insane. Uh, but that was a that was like the the most four shifty win, I think, uh, I think out there. Certainly of this week. Granted that this this is only game number three. So, and I'm just trying to get the card back, right? All I'm trying to do is get the card back. And then once I achieve that goal, try to make it to diamond, back to diamond five. And then if I achieve that goal, then we'll, we'll see where I'm at. It might be the end of December at that point. 
Need to invest in a nice Velcro back brace like us old folks. Even for small boxes, I'm strapping that bad boy on. Can't walk for like a week. That's, I didn't. I don't know what I did. I was working. Oh, sorry. Let me t let me take this turn real quick. Oh man, my tour guide, my kingdom for my tour guide. I'm just going off with Fireheart. Uh, Earthshock. Earthshock? Torrent is actually kind of good, too, though. I'll take an Earthshock. I'd like a Torrent, though. Storm Strike is interesting. Feral Spirit. I'll take a Feral Spirit. If she's got a Plagiarize online right now, this is going to get real silly. I didn't even notice that she just played a bunch of secrets. Gosh, I don't know if I want to... I think I'll play the Far Sign. Tidal wave. <laughs> Although I think I just want the first. It was plagiarized. <laughs> she just got my fire heart. Ah, that's all right. She got my fire heart, so she that means she gets to have a turn with instructor fire heart. Does it say shaman spells? It just says discover a spell. Uh, so she's gonna get access to rogue spells. So when she plays fire heart, she's gonna get access to rogue spells. That's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen that interaction before. I think she's playing an autocomplete deck. It's possible. Just put the quest in there and then hit autocomplete and just see what happens. Gosh, what would happen? Like, what kind of deck would the autocomplete robot give you if you put in the quest and then just hit autocomplete? Oh, that's right. She got a deck of lunacy off of a wand thief earlier. So that's pretty silly. She's got it with that. Yeah, nothing like emoting to really tip your hand there. Potion of Illusion. This is going to be a high value game. This is gonna this is about to get real silly. I mean it's already silly, but it's about to get real sillier. But yeah, on Sunday, I don't know what I was doing. I was just standing there, not bothering anybody. And then my back just quit working. It just quit uh, and I was like, well that's not cool. I haven't even got to do anything yet. Am I missing chat? I didn't see one for autocomplete. That's from that's from before you got here. Well, I guess I can just... Oh, got a Totem Goliath. I was gonna say, I guess I can just Twisting Nether this, but then she's gonna have a bunch of Totems. Do I care if she has a bunch of Totems? I, this is just a board of Gak. Like, this board doesn't do anything. <laughs> this board isn't anything, but it's gonna kill me if I don't do something. All right, I'm just gonna Twisting Nether this, I think. Is there something else? Is there some other spell I could do? Because so I could Hero Powers... Oh no, I don't have enough hand space to Hero Powers Efforts the Great. My hag of the scheme hasn't built up enough. I think this just has to be a twist. Oh, it could be a brawl. No, I'm, I'm just going to twist this. Might have just slept wrong. Something you'll be saying more and more. No, I was I was out there. So I, I was working the, the tree lighting over at the governor's mansion. And running microphones. Microphones don't weigh anything, right? Microphones don't weigh anything. And... And microphone cable. It's not like I was trying to run 500 feet of microphone cable, right? I was running 50 feet of microphone cable. Doesn't weigh much. And then all of a sudden, my back just didn't want to hold me upright anymore. And I can't even explain what it felt like because it doesn't. It, it's not an abrasion. It's not a cut, right? It's not an impact injury. It's not soreness. It's just. I don't know how to explain what it feels like. But now, it's like yesterday, you know, uh, Ellie and I played Gauntlet Slayer's Edition. Fortunately, she's incredible at video games and was able to carry me. Because towards the end of that stream yesterday, man, I was struggling to keep myself upright. Right? There was, I was keeping a lot of weight. Like, it's tough to play console video games where you have to keep most of your weight off of your, like, on your arms. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, you know, we were able to beat, like, two-thirds of the game. Uh, over the course of the stream yesterday, of the, the three hours. Three hours was about 105% of what I could take. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you could see it, but I was like starting to grind my teeth a little bit. <laughs> but I just love streaming. Couldn't stop. I'm addicted, I guess. So I went to Scheme, Hero Power, Novice Engineer, and then Tour Guide. Because I want to be able to Hero Power for zero and Dragon Queen Alex draws the next turn. This is a Bamboozle, right? It's either a Bamboozle or a Shadow Clone. It honestly doesn't even matter. So I'm going to blow this board up. Hit the hero power button. Play the, actually I'll play the mana feeder. I'm also going to play out the acidic swamp boost this turn. For the door? 
I'm having some real, I'm having some real, real hand management problems. Some really, really, real hand management problems. Because when I hero power Dragon Queen, she's going to try to give me four cards. <laughs> and I, there's no way I can fit that many cards. Fortunately, I'll have one mana left over, so I can, you know, do something. But uh, I was watching the stream, but I was just on the phone. Yeah, so you, you saw, right? I was starting to, like, really get the molars engaged in keeping myself sitting up. And just a, just a friendly warning, whenever I go get coffee, it's going to take a little longer. Because I have to move at a sad... It's not like a... It's not a hobble. It's a shamble, though. It's like a, it's like a strong shamble. Which is so strange, my legs are fine, right? Like, my legs are fine. It's just the process of holding my torso upright that apparently is just, you know, my back's been holding my torso upright for over three decades. And now it's just like, eh, eh, I don't know. Not really feeling it, not really feeling it anymore. Actually, Michelle, to your point uh, a while back, she has been able to just hit me for recursive damage over the course of this whole game. I'm down to 10. And all she's really had is the daggers and boards of absolute garbage. What is that secret? She's just been able to hit me in the face for three damage for the past 15 turns, and that's been enough. That's been enough to get there. I was perhaps undervaluing. Okay. First thing, check for bamboozle. Your tour ends here. Uh, I sh I'm doing this out of order. Witchy lackey, excellent. Faceless lackey, potentially excellent. Light well. Huh? That's great. That's great. Deal. I'll I'll keep that. Man, am I going to use the Corrupted Circus Medic to clear this last creature? No, I think I'm just going to put it on the board and hit face with it. <laughs> That's called age. <laughs> yeah. My my spine apparently aging like, like milk. More like milk and less like cheese or wine. My biggest concern, though, is that I won't... I'm supposed to shoot tomorrow. And I really need my back to work. Uh, you know, if, if the shoot comes together and we actually get to do it tomorrow, I'm going to be a sound guy. So I'm going to have to like, oh, crap. Got the hand of fate. Okay, not the most impactful Yogg-Saron I've ever seen. What does that do? They cost zero? Fill your hand with random spells. They cost zero this turn. Not a very good Yogg-Saron, it must be said. Savage Roar. Oh, crap. Am I dead? No. Four and five are both less than seven. But yeah, you have to attack there and you have to kill my Light Whale. I assume. Hey, Light Whale. Light Whale healing me for five. Nice work, Light Whale. You are helping me out. If you control a Lackey, deal three damage. Sick. I do control a Lackey. Unfortunately, I lost my Tour Guide hero power. So that's, you know, that's pretty sad. I did this in the wrong order. Okay, for a second I thought it wasn't going to go off again. I'm pretty sure this is a flame ward, and so I just made a mistake. Because this, like, I need this to attack here. And then if it is a flame ward, I would need to attack with this. Oh, it's not a flame ward. That is a surprise. Oh, that is a surprise. Crap, could I have won the game? I could have won the game. I just, I just thought that was a flame ward. Oh, I am a fool. Okay, don't panic. It seems like I need to Feral Spirits this turn. It's a counterspell. Which of you costs the most? Four. Set this to six. Oh, I might just be dead. I'm dead to Eviscerate. I'm dead to Hero Power Eviscerate. Okay, the Dark Portal doesn't kill me. Oh, gosh, I could have won the game. I had lethal damage right there. Yeah, to make a wager, friend. Well, that's not going to save you. Unless she's in the process of, you know, 360-ing. 360-ing with intent to no-scope. 
We just win the game. Because I get to Hero Power Cumulo Maximus, and that deals 10. Hero Power Cumulo Max. Oh, I'm actually over. Lava Burst Hero Power Cumulo Maximus for 10 mana. Brawl doesn't save you, friend. A brawl for 2 mana. That's ridiculous. But she. We, the amount of burn we have is uh, 15. For 10 mana, we can deal 15 damage. It's not going to do it. That is just not going to do it. That is also not going to do it, my friend. Although, that's, that is kind of a hassle. I would have liked to have the... Wow, she has another 10 mana. That's right, because Forest War and Oma. This, this turn is insane. Parta Defender is also not going to get there. Eaglehorn Bow is also not going to get there. This was a very prolific turn. I will give her that. But now we have 10 mana. So let me just make sure I don't screw this up. Lava Burst for, for 5 damage and it overloads us. 3, 4, 5. Yep, we just win. Lava Burst to the face. Hero Power. Cumulo Maximus also to the face. For a grand total of 15 damage. Lightning strike. Whew. Never punished. But I'm... I let that mage secret freak me out. There was definitely a way to win that game a turn earlier. But that mage secret... I was just... I was convinced the mage secret was flame ward. And I just played as if it was flame ward. But we could have won that a turn earlier. And then we wouldn't have had to watch her... I mean, I will say, though, watching her play 52 card pickup was pretty cool. <laughs> Right? Just cards flying out of her sleeves and hands and jacket, inside jacket pockets, just like a leaf blower. Where is the leaf blower? Blowing cards around. Oh, I gotta stop waving my arms like that. Blowing the cards everywhere. <laughs> Blowing just a hurricane of cards. And then and then we just kind of socked her in the nose. <laughs> right? Just a bink! <laughs> and that was a lot of cards. Jesus. Yes. Even Jesus was like, look, I've generated loaves and fishes and stuff, but even I don't make that many cards. Hey, we got the card back. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Need a big old banner. Mission accomplished. I just love Quest Shaman. <laughs> it feels so silly and satisfying to play.